Hey, what's up, guys? Real quick before I head into the gym, I gotta talk about this. I, I don't know what's going on, but on TikTok, I'm, guys, I'm trying to grow my TikTok. I have a goal to have 10,000 people, followers on TikTok by Christmas. I'm at like 7,600 or something. Okay, here's what I'm getting on TikTok. Like over and over and over, I'm like, what's happening? Are there, is there some like surge, some tidal wave of like these like fitness influencers spreading this message or like what is going on? But I keep getting asked over and over and over on my exercise tutorials on TikTok. Light, light, light weights, high reps, right? Light weights, high reps. And I'm like, what? Who told you this? And then like even a few couple of girls are like going to battle with me over it. They're like, no, every good, every advanced trainer I know says that you should do light weight <laughs> and high reps. And I'm like, are you trolling me or is this for real? But I, she was serious and I keep getting it over and over. Guys, it's to the point that I'm wondering if people are trolling me by asking this question because it's so, it's okay. Here's the thing. Let me just clarify this. There's a fundamental lack of understanding here when somebody like says like, should you do heavy, low reps or light, high reps? Like the problem is like when, when you're asking a question, you have to understand like what the goal is, right? So like, there's not like, even with squatting, for example, good morning, Shona. What's up, my beautiful Hawaiian soul sister. Um, when you, like even squatting, there's not like one right way to squat. Can you guys hear me okay? Let me know, because I know when my phone like hits my dash, it gets kind of like, I sound like a robot. There's not one right way to do like pretty much anything. It's what's the intention. And if your intention is to build muscle, which I've got to say, if you're in the gym lifting weights, I sure as hell hope that your goal is to build muscle, right? And so light weights can have a place for sure. Like, you know, on a drop set or going to failure um, or at the end of your workout maybe. But to tell people that they should just only lift light weights and do high reps is the freaking problem. This is why you spin your wheels forever and never achieve anything. You've got to create a stimulus for change in your body to get a change in your body. Thank you, Suresh. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you for letting me know you can hear me. The, the point of lifting weights is to create some damage create some freaking damage. So that damage now has to come and be healed, which then grows your muscles. So if I'm sitting there with a three pound weight for 20 and I'm like, yes. And then we went to coffee and it was like so fun. And <laughs> yeah. And I'm done. Do you think I damaged any muscle and I'm going to grow muscle there now? No, no. And so like you can do Let's say, okay, here's the deal. It, let me get all into it with you. Three types of training. We've got a neurological stimulus, a hypertrophy stimulus, and a and muscular endurance stimulus, okay? So if you want to work on muscular endurance, for me, that still means like, yeah, maybe 15 reps would be mus working on my muscular endurance, but I, I'm still going to have ugly face at the end of that. I'm still going to be like... <sighs> <laughs> right? Somebody messaged me on here yesterday. He's like, I saw you at the gym yesterday and you don't look as nice as you do on Instagram. <laughs> I'm like, I know I'm mean serious business when I get in there. I'm like, it hurts. It, it not, I, I shouldn't say hurts. It's extremely uncomfortable. Extremely. Right. If I'm not on those last final reps, even when I'm going 15 and maybe it's lightweight for that muscle group, you know, like it maybe. I'm only using 10 pounds because I'm doing front delts or something and I'm doing 20 reps of them. Yeah. Like I can get there. I still have to like squeeze from the inside and go as hard as I can. But so sometimes, yes, for very, very tiny muscles, like your front delt, you're technically going to be light. I'm not going to be using 70 pound dumbbells. I can't do that. Right. But the point is the, the weight should be as hard as you freaking can for whatever heavy as you freaking can for whatever rep range you're doing to the point that you almost can't finish the set End of story period. Okay. So I don't care if you're squatting with 135 pounds on your back, go you. But if you get to, let's say you're doing a hypertrophy, sorry, I, I didn't finish. 
Hypertrophy is muscle growth. That's typically eight to 12 rep range. And um, neurological stimulus would be like six and under. That's just using your nervous system. Okay, so that's like power lifting, Olympic lifting, or you're doing like a three rep thing. Okay, that's you're not gonna get a muscle pump from that. It's gonna, but you're gonna feel it after. You're gonna be like, Ugh. that's my, that's how I uh, personify a neurological stimulus in your body when you're doing strength work. It's, oh my gosh, <laughs> you can feel it in your nervous system. Okay, yeah, be uncomfortable being uncomfortable. Yes, yes, you gotta pre pre prepare yourself. When you go in there, we're not talking to, to Melissa about like our weekend while we're doing our sets. You're not doing shit. You're not doing shit. You're not doing shit. Show up in there. Like get the benefit. Get in there and like when you're doing those squats, as here I was gonna say, you're doing 135 pound squats and you can do 15 of those and you're, you're like 15. If that's how you felt when you got done, you're not going heavy enough. You're not creating a stimulus for change anymore. It's got to suck a little bit. Okay. So like I'm maybe, maybe venting <laughs> about the light, light weights, right? I'm like, what, what? Light weights? Why would you lift a light weight that is easy for you to do when you're trying to create muscle damage that you can repair and grow muscle? No. <laughs> as heavy as you can so that it's difficult to finish the set. Okay. You're gonna know. I always say results are never a surprise. You're gonna know if like you're creating a stimulus for change in your body because it's gonna suck. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go do that now. It's gonna suck so good. And if you get a good attitude about that, right? If your attitude going into weight training is like, oh gosh, oh I don't want it to hurt, like and you're running from that discomfort, well, you're not gonna get results that fast. But if you change your attitude of like you want that. I always say I bloodthirst for that moment. And I tell people when I train them in person, I've told them, you know, I use this all the time. I'm watching their, I can, I'm watching their face and I'm watching their body at the same time. People's face always looks like it's harder than what their body is telling me. So let's say they're doing bicep curls and they're like, Ooh, oh man. Oh, and I'm just, they're, they're still just going like this. <laughs> still doing full reps, everything perfect. And they're like, Oh dang. I'm like, yeah, you're feeling it now. So as soon as I see them start to do that, I'm like, you just started, you just got into the point where anything is going to happen. But those first, like if you, you know, depending on how strong your neurological connection is to your muscles, you can get there quicker or later. A lot of women or people and guys who are new, your neurological connection to those muscles isn't as strong. So it might take you six, six, seven reps to even start, you know, you get these experienced guys and they're like <sighs> out of the gate, you know, um, and women. <laughs> and so, um, anyway, when your body, like when you start to get into that space where it starts to be very uncomfortable and you're feeling, and you're like, Oh my God, that's when you just started. Okay. So keep that in mind. Were, were the trainers everywhere with the, with same names or different ones? I know. Right. I don't know. I, I have to admit, I don't, I, I, I like to encourage everybody on their, um, coaching journey. Um, I, I remember when I was first a trainer, there were like some bully trainers that were like, wrong, ugh, you shouldn't share anything, you're the stupidest. And I'd hate that, you know, because it was very demoralizing and almost made me quit for a while, um, rubbing shoulders with some of these experienced ego type people in the industry. So I don't mean to like um, bash on anyone or, you know, I'm not going to leave a comment and be like, this is wrong, you know, like anything like that. But I, I have seen like some fitness influencers or maybe they have like just NASM or something like that, which is really just a paper test. You know, that's like a the starting point for training. If that's all you have, I would really encourage you to like go keep continue and get more education on your training. Um, but Oh, hello from Ireland. Hello. I'm actually going to copy with my friend from Ireland on Monday. She lives here. Um, okay. So Anyway, my point is like that I saw this chick and I don't know how she popped up in my feed and she was telling women how to, I don't even want to single it out because I'm like, what if somebody knows who it was, but she was telling somebody how to, all right, I'll just say it. She was telling women how to not get bat wings, which is like fat right here. And she was doing shoulder stuff. Like she was doing these weird made up thing and it was all shoulders. And I'm like, oh, okay. So like you know, there's lots of comments. She has a huge following and all these women were like, thank you. And I'm like, Oh no. So just like know that every influencer on the internet doesn't quite know. And I have stuff too. I'm learning all the time. I'm like, oh, okay. I found a more optimal way to do that. That's freaking cool. You know, so we're all learning, but just remember like not, 
Especially if it's just like a, a chick who's like 21 and she has like a good body, but she doesn't really have any muscle and she's teaching you how to grow muscle. Like just keep it in mind, you know, just keep it in mind. Um, not everything you read on the internet is correct. So yeah, anyway, end of story period. I got to go kick some ass in the gym now. Just know that whatever weight you're doing. Okay, sure. Let's, I have had times where I'm doing like five pounders because my delts are so burnt out already from my workout that like five pounds is like, <laughs> I actually have had times that I do no weight. I'm burning my front delts out and I, they are so freaking spent even just body weight. I'm like, Oh my gosh, but that's because I already got them to that point. Okay, from heavier stuff. I wasn't just like walking in like D -d 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 -d, and nine and ten and done. Like that is not going to grow muscle. Okay, and the point is growing muscle um, or strengthening your nervous system. Could you talk about bat wings if they're already there? 85 pound weight loss, but another 50 to go. So some of yours is probably skin. Okay, so keep that in mind. And the way you can kind of tell the difference between like just skin would be like very easy to pull, you know, like kind of stretchy, like that's skin. Um, and like bat wings, a few things I'll say about that. Like, so uh, women, I know we have tend to have more fat here on the back of our arms because it's actually hormonally related. The higher your androgens are, so your male, you know, the ones we associate to male, the, the higher your testosterone is, the less body fat you will store right here. So check to see if you have low testosterone, you know, that could be related. Um, and then build as much muscle as you can right there. Build as much muscle as you can. And fat loss is only, I, I, I say it this way to kind of encourage people. I like to say fat loss is only nutrition because <laughs> you can work yourself to death in the gym and still be very, very overweight because it's easy to eat all the calories back. So focus on losing weight with nutrition, grow as much muscle as you can. And that's pretty much it. And, and check your, your testosterone and see if you have healthy testosterone levels. All right, that's all. Time to go kick some booty and go look like a mean mofo in the gym. <laughs> all right, see you guys. Bye.